Creating this wind effect inside of Roblox Studio in the grass and in the trees is surprisingly simple and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. To begin we're actually going to make some grass so if you don't have some grass already make sure you add it in and from there what we can do is we head over to the view panel at the top here and press on wind direction. Now, this is a new feature if you're not in beta make sure you turn it on and what you want to do is you can change this here so this is speed per second and I don't, that doesn't make any sense to be honest, I don't know, speed per second is not really a thing, but that's the button you press, so what will happen is it will show the direction of the wind. This little um, template here shows you kind of a good example of what your wind will look like, that's this. We can then go to our, like, so we've got speed, we have yaw, and we have pitch, now pitch is like the level of which a wind stands, so if it's like this it can be really windy in different places. So I'm going to go for this, I want to make mine pretty windy, as you can see the grass moves effectively. We can then press wind direction and we can get rid of this. Now to do the trees, you want to get your tree wherever from, I'm going to get mine with this, this one here from the toolbox for example. And I'm going to bring these, and I'm going to bring two of them, like this. And what this will do, is there's two different ways to do this. Now the first one you have to pay for, so I'm going to show you that right now, you just want to get the wind shake plug in. Now this costs, I think it's 100 robux, but it's probably worth it because it's so quick and so effective. However, there's a free version which I'm going to show right after this, and it's a little bit more difficult, but it's still really easy. So if, if you're really lazy like me, then just go ahead and do this, but if not, just press um, insert like that, and then we want to go ahead and select all of our leaves. So here and here, for example, you can always look up, make sure you, if in the workspace for leaves, um, if you make your own builds, ensure you uh, name all your leaves the same thing. And then we just want to turn on shake enabled. Now, don't bother looking at all this stuff here because this stuff is old, yeah? That's for the older versions because what that does is that uh, manually changes it rather than uses the workspace wind, which is here. So now, obviously, if we press play, I'll show you exactly how it looks. The wind should be working effectively. I'm stuck in the ground. Here we go. As you see, this follows this very nicely. The speed of it and the direction is all very similar. So that looks nice, okay? Okay, so now you don't want to pay, okay? So that's fair enough. So get your trees in. And what you need to do is head over to this GitHub page here and go to this, this link right here. And you would like to get this um, this model, okay? And we can get that model. Head over to your, your models and you just want to add it in just like this, okay? And you want to drag this into the starter player scripts. When that's in there, you can open up this and it's got all these different things. But what we need to look at is this collection tag here. Now, collection tag service is pretty much a service which you can define tags onto certain parts and then use scripts to work with all those parts. Now, we can't do that without a plugin uh, unless you want to use a command bar, which is probably not worth it. So we need to get ourselves the tag plugin. Now, this plugin should be available if you just go to this little um, area here on plugins look up tags this should come up here you go tag editor you want to get this plugin right here and it'll come up here it's saying instance tagging now what we want to do is what we did before for the paid version you just want to select everything which you want to well which you want to be able to work out so here these are all my leaves we can then press on instance tagging and open up the tag window now as i said this is this is more difficult than using the plugin but pretty much just the same jog okay because you want to name this new tag and i'm just going to call this leaves okay and then oh you need to actually press enter here and what i do is create this tag and you want to see this button right here and you just want to tick okay that will mean that all these parts called leaves will be defined with the tag leaves so bark here does not have the tag so that should be good we just want to make sure we have leaves uh, we, none of this is always needed, okay? Just don't worry about that at all. We want to head over to our script at the bottom here and change the collection tag to leaves or whatever you've named it, okay? Okay, and with that change, we then want to create a local script to initiate this. So we press local script, just like this, and inside this local script, we're going to place this thing right here. What this does, obviously, this is not in here yet, so you want to drag this into the local script, and that pretty much initiates and makes sure that this is working. See, match workspace wind, therefore, it's going to match the wind um, variation you've put into your workspace here and then this is just initiating the script so when we press play now what we should have is a working wind system and there we go completely for free no need to get the plugin and that is that so thank you very much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one